How are we doing? I said I was going to do a video using these new little pellets, wood pellets I got, and the smoking tube. So the plan is fill this with these, and then I'm going to just take some ordinary coarse sea salt, put it in the Weber griddle, and smoke it. See what happens. It's a fair old amount, and there's not many left. Filled all the way up. So tip the salt out to a nice even layer. See what happens. So here we are. A crude little um, umbrella setup so it doesn't get wet when it rains, but it looks like blue skies now, so it should be good going forward. So this is what I'm gonna do. Taking out all the attachments to the barbecue so I can gain access to the gas igniter, which is there, um, so I can light the wood pellets, let it burn for a little bit, blow it out, put the grate back into the bottom, let the wood pellets sit, salt dry on top, close the lid. Open all the attach all the vents so let the smoke circulate doesn't get stagnant, and that should make some nice smoke salt. I cheated. I went inside and lit it on the gas hob because you want it to start burning at the top. That's why in a lot of videos I've seen they use like a blowtorch. Get right on the top, around the sides. So we're gonna let this smolder for five minutes or so, and then blow it out, and that should produce enough smoke through the salt. So yeah, so good. So I put the grate back in. The smoky tube's gonna go down there. Then the top grill's gonna go back in. That's it. That's all you wanna see. Nice bit of smoke coming out. And then obviously salt dish ready to go. There we go. It's producing quite a lot of smoke now, so that's good. I'm gonna close the lid. Open the vent on the top. And make sure that's set to let the air out, air in at the bottom. And then leave it for about 45 minutes, I suppose. It's all come out well. It's got a nice colour to it. And apparently it tastes of smoke. So that's good.